Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Patsy with Patsy Figures It Out. I wanted to make a little quick intro before I brought you guys along tomorrow. This is going to be a blog style trip. I'm going to bring you guys along this time for the ride for when I go to Mexico. My uh, goal for going to Mexico is opening a shop for my mom, which has been her biggest dream for a very, very long time. She's very business oriented. She's an entrepreneur and i wanted to help her accomplish this so i'm opening a shop for her over there um she's of course providing you know she knows what she wants to do i'm just the, the middleman basically so i'm going to be bringing you guys along since this is something that's going on in my life it is not a catch-up i wanted to go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity and bring you guys with me um it's gonna be fun so i hope you guys enjoy it uh and i will see you guys tomorrow on our way to mexico Hi, good morning my friends. I am somewhere in between San Antonio and Houston. I've been driving for about an hour and a half. So I had just stopped and pumped gas to fill up. Um, so hopefully it should either take me close to the border or a little bit past the border. But I'm not sure. As soon as I hit half tank, I usually go ahead and pump again, make sure that I have a full tank. I'm just, I like being prepared. That's just who I am. So I almost didn't come because I think it was Friday night, I believe. I think it's a cold. I'm pretty sure because both of the boys had it. We're all pretty much getting through it by now. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what the shop actually looks like, where it's at. I am at Fayette County. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy uh, the rest of the ride. And I will catch you guys up probably later once I'm already in Mexico. have to stop by at a Van Hercito to get a temporary permit for my vehicle whenever you bring a vehicle into Mexico or any other country I assume you have to get a permit so they have to like um, you have to pay a specific amount and just as a like down uh, like a assurance for the country that you're not gonna leave your vehicle here that you're not running away from anything crazy from another country so i have to go and get that permit too so i can drive freely uh or else it's gonna be a scary thing to move around in mexico without the permit because i can get stopped like all the time and i have before because i have came here before and i didn't know about the permit <laughs> so now that i know i have to get it so hopefully all of that um, comes through smoothly and I can get my permit and then I want to get some food. I'm starving. Honestly, I'm starving. It's been a long ride. I have still two hours and a half or so to go. Um, GPS says 240. Ooh, you can't see it. So we shall see. Let's see how long it takes us. I try not to like speed or do anything crazy so that I don't get pulled over in Mexico. So I will update you guys later after I get my permit. Hopefully everything goes well. Hi guys, just wanted to give you a quick update. I am a little bit under two hours of getting to my grandma's house and going back to where I was raised, early childhood. So I was able to get the permit for my car so we're legally driving here in the United States of Mexico. I was thinking about something when I was um, after I got the permit and everything and figured out everything. It's like I feel like sometimes we 
are so negative in our minds because we've had so we've gone through so much stuff and believe me i've been through a lot of stuff and stop ourselves and we stop ourselves short from victory a lot of the time we stop our, ourselves short from achieving and creating so many beautiful and wonderful things i feel like i was raised as an illegal immigrant and so i have this fear within me that hey i can't do this or i can't do that and i've slowly gotten out of that mindset it's been very challenging and i feel like as a community as a whole the hispanic community tends to just be quiet and be in their own homes and stay in their own shell they are afraid to speak up my circumstances have changed and it took me a while to see that and to understand that and to appreciate how my circumstances circumstances had changed and i'm not gonna lie it took me a lot to get here it was very very hard it's been very very challenging and a lot of people are like you know how do you drive by yourself are you afraid to get picked up by the cartel are you afraid to get pulled over are you afraid that uh, mexican cops will bribe you absolutely who wouldn't be afraid of those things but i don't let those type of fears and type of and i don't put myself in that mentality where i'm gonna stop myself and trick myself to what other people's fears are and these are internal fears of mine too but i don't let them stop me i'm very proud of myself and i wanted to take a moment and put it on screen i feel like my next stop is going to be canada for sure i want to experience canada i also want to go to new york i put it in my head at the end of last year that i wanted to travel and i have been traveling not in the way that i thought or expected that i would but i'm very proud of myself that i pushed myself and hey a little cold is not going to stop me from achieving my goals let me tell you that much uh a cold ain't nothing so i'm here and i'm achieving goals and i'm breaking barriers in my own freaking head that i've had for a very very long time and if you have broken out of an internal barrier that you had in your head i congratulate you and i strongly encourage you to congratulate yourself so starting and ending stuff finishing stuff is it's always hard you will never be wrong by starting something new and different and challenging yourself catch you guys up later wanted to give you guys a quick update i'm about 15 minutes away from grandma's house i am back to the mines of coahuila as you can see there's a lot of mines um a lot of mountains where i'm from um <laughs> and the terrain is pretty pretty rough well you guys i think i'm gonna cut off today's video at this point um the next video i should be catching you guys up once I'm finally at the my mom's shop and setting up and unloading and I will see you guys then. Bye. Good morning. I look a hot mess. We are at the area where we have the little location here in Mexico. I'm getting ready to bring down all of the stuff that I brought from um, from the U.S. After that, I'm gonna get ready to go down to Monclova, which is the closest city, to go and get some internet and stuff that we need for the little location. So, let me give you guys the time lapse and just bring it all All right, so I'm looking a little bit better, much better. Um, I'm growing all my bangs. So I could, it's so hard to manage them right now. Anyway, just wanted to show you a different view of the shop itself. It's 
It's pretty spacious actually, and I just need to organize everything and I'll be unpacking a lot of this stuff later. But I'm gonna be doing a trip down to the city. So I'm gonna bring you guys along so you guys can check it out. All right, so quick update. I am in Moklova, which is actually the city where I was born because this is the closest city and the closest hospital was here. Ah, look at right here, it's all messed up already. It's like, it's weird because it's cold wind, but it's also hot here, so it's pretty crazy. But I'm about to head back home. I didn't find some of the things that I needed. I'm gonna be staying a little bit longer here in Mexico just because I need to get a lot of things done and as you guys can see there's like at the little shop there's so many things in bags still so i will talk to you guys later shitty car but we hit the road doesn't matter where we go and destination or no i don't care where the motor stops because when i want it then i want it yeah i want it oh i want it let's go look around where's the people at i want a taste of the Hi guys, back to you guys again. I am now in Castaños again where we have the little shop that I have to set up and I got a chair <laughs> and a table I gotta set up. I've got a lot to do. So let me go ahead and get ready. It is day two of trying to get the little shop ready for opening day. So I wanted to show you guys what I did today. So I was finally able to put up some of the clothes that my mom had. So I have a lot of clothes. Even some cold weather clothes. Which right now it's getting cold again. Man's clothes. We have backpacks and a little bit of toys oh and this girl she looks good i wish i looked like that when i was wearing those jeans but as you can see i still got a whole bunch more stuff to do so i need to take a little break i need to brainstorm and see how i'm gonna get everything sorted out because i don't have as much um hang, hanging racks as i need to and i don't have a lot of shelves that's like the only shelf that i have i probably need more and maybe a few other tables as well but i drove in my car so it's pretty tiny and um, we i don't think we had really pictured exactly how big the shop was going to be and how much uh, we were going to be able to fill it out because we actually do have a lot more stuff but so that's good. That's an update for today. I'm feeling a little bit better today, but I am tired now. Um, I'm, I hope to leave tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully everything goes well with the internet and I will give you guys another update once I've done as much as I can. 
it is a final day here in Mexico and I just wanted to give you guys an update of everything that we were able to accomplish. So you guys had already seen that I had finished or my cousin had helped me finish uh, hooking up those things. We also did two more down here. We're going to have like a little display thing showing here. But for now we have this display that I, your girl did. So a little bit of everything that we have. My friend is still here. Um, I'm showing some of the dresses that we have, the shoes, and it doesn't look like clutter over here anymore. So, it's looking a little bit better, and uh, we didn't get to set up the internet, but I have to get back to the United States, so I'm heading out right now, and I will see you guys on the other side. I'll talk to you guys soon.